Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. After releasing this Minimax M2, many of you requested me in my previous video that how to integrate this Minimax M2 with Cloud Code. And here is the detailed explanation video step by step process. I will show you that how to integrate this Minimax M2 with the Cloud Code. And here you see that this is the configuration that I will show you from scratch. So stay with me till the end. And also in my previous video, I have sh I have shown you that uh, the detail step by step process that how Minimax M2 is giving the Cloud Sonnet 4.5 level of experience and also it is better than GLM 4.6 and they have also given this kind of benchmark from this benchmark also you will get that points that why this Minimax M2 is better than the other popular Frontier models and you can watch this video to get the detailed explanation. Now let's see that how to integrate it with the cloud code. Now for that make sure you have the cloud code installed in your machine and if you have not the cloud code then please uh, watch the cloud code installation video in my channel. Okay. Now let's move to our next thing which is the configuration change. So for that what I will do I will go to my C drive. Here you see that this is my C drive. Oh my god this is red color. Okay, I need to clean up some things. So after this video, I will definitely clean this C drive. So go to your C drive and if you are on Mac or Linux, please make sure you find your uh, profile folder. Okay, here you see that this is my users and inside this user, this is my username Biplab and inside this we have this dot clot. So this is the dot clot folder that you have to find in your machine and after that inside this you have to make this uh, file which is the settings dot json here you see that the name should be settings extra x s should be there after this g so settings dot json file you have to make because uh, when you will install the cloud code at that time the settings dot json file will not be there so you have to manually make this file inside this dot cloud folder okay now let me open this settings file inside the vs code and after that you have to paste these things so i have given these things in the description this is basically the configuration here you see and uh, this is the base url from the app.minimax.io for the anthropic and this is the minimax api key i will tell you that how to get this api key and this is the api timeout and uh, this is the model minimax m2 and for this default sonnet model we have set it to minimax m2 and the default opus model which is the minimax m2 and haiku model also minimax m2 so this is the configuration and after you paste it you need the api key from the minimax so for that i have given one link in description go there and after that you will find this kind of platform where you have to sign up the sign up process is also very simple with your gmail account you can do the sign up and this is the platform.minimax.io uh, website and from the left hand side you will find this api key option so go there click on this cre uh, create new secret api key give any name here and after that click on this create and you will get your api key now take that api key and paste that api key here okay now after you done the pasting just um, close it after that just open your project folder here you see that uh, in my case i have one project folder let me check this is the project folder so i will open it inside this terminal and here just type this cloud c l a u d e and press enter and you will see that it is asking me uh, do you trust the files inside the folder yes obviously proceed and here you see that cloud code and uh, if i check that what model it is using so just type slash status and press enter and here you see that the model minimax m2 it is using and uh, yes this one and after that just exit from here and just write hi and you will get the output and let me check that Yes, hello, how can I help you today? So for free, I am using Minimax M2 because in my previous video also, I have told you that this Minimax M2 is currently free until uh, 7th November. Here you see free until 7th November. So please use it and please make some projects 
some beautiful projects and let me know your thought your experience in the comment section and in this way you will be able to use the minimax m2 model inside clot code okay so here you will get the advantage of clot code plus minimax m2 agentic capability okay and if you want to know more about this minimax m2 please visit our channel and here you see that this is the minimax m2 uh, detailed explanatory video okay so please watch that so see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye take care and if you found this video helpful please make sure to subscribe and like this video